Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Nottingham Forest career mode. Today's episode is episode 10 and we will be looking at continuing our good form from last episode into this episode to try and solidify our place in the playoff spots but also maybe even get into that automatic promotion spot because Blackburn aren't that far away. Anyway, before we get into the league table and who's in where from us in terms of points and goal difference and whatnot... Let's have a look at the games that we've got today, and yeah, hopefully they're all easy ones. So, as you guys are probably aware of by now, or maybe you haven't noticed, but a lot of the get episodes I do uh, revolve around uh, one whole month's worth of games. So, as you can see, if you look at this now, all of January's games were done in one episode, February, March, April, kind of a few more games. Yeah, um, as you can see, we've got six games in April. And then we've got one game in May, but that's not including playoff uh, games because we're probably going to get playoff. Well, at least I think I would. If I bottle it now, then I'm definitely going to resign. Uh, yeah, we need to split these. So what I'm going to do is I'm either going to play four of uh, these uh, this month's games or five. I haven't decided. That'll probably be something I decide on during the games. But yeah, without further ado, let's see who we're playing in this episode. So, uh, to start off the episode, we will be playing away to Rotherham, who are currently 19th in the league. But as everyone does know, I struggle against the teams who uh, are at the bottom of the table. <laughs> Ipswich. Um, and, yeah, this might not necessarily be such an easy game for us. But, yeah, first game, away to Rotherham. Our second game will be away to Sheffield Wednesday, who are also 17th. So, again, should be easy, but I have 100% confidence I'm going to make it tough for myself. And one of the very important games of this episode, a game that could potentially, if points go our way, close the gap on Blackburn, who are currently sat second. And we're playing them at home. So we've got the home advantage. Let's hope that we can beat them at home. And finally, or maybe not finally, I haven't decided, uh, we will be playing Sheffield United, who are seventh. Looking to get into the playoffs. Um, yeah, it would be a nice way to sort of solidify our distance. Excuse the... Um the bin men. Um, um, yeah, um, so they're going to want to um, try and get into the playoffs. We're going to want to try and just extend the distance away from dropping out of the playoffs. Although I can't see us dropping out of the playoffs just yet. Although it is quite tight at the top, it could still happen. But yeah, they're our final game or penultimate game, depending on um, what happens. With that being said, if we do go through with playing five games this episode, we will be playing Middlesbrough as our final game at home, who are currently 11th. Yeah, I mean, I can't remember what our last result to Middlesbrough was, but they're still a good club, even though they're 11th, so I won't expect an easy game. But, yeah, that's basically going to be potentially all the games this episode. And then after that, we've got games against QPR and Bolton. Bolton, by the way, who I've been slagging off for the entire series, so imagine if they beat me at the end of this. I'm going to look like a right twat. So as you can see here is the league table, currently sitting at the top spot is Leeds on 82 points, followed by Blackburn, who are only 8 points behind them, so it's not necessarily a big gap, they can still catch up on it, but I don't know, Leeds are just playing really well right now, but I suppose that's what you get for, you know, spying on everyone and figuring out what their training sessions are, because that obviously means that's the reason that you're doing better. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, anyway, third place, we are, f we are only three points behind Blackburn, who are currently sat in that automatic promotion spot. And uh, I'll tell you what, I'd love it if we beat them. I'd bloody love it, because it put us, well, it put us on the same amount of points, but not only that, we're better in goal difference. So, yeah, we can do this. Meanwhile, one point behind us is Derby, and Derby are in very good form right now. So, dropping points is going to be something that we just can't afford especially to someone like Derby, who can quite easily just blast past us. Anyway, in 5th, we have Preston on 67 points, West Brom in 6th on 65 points. Meanwhile, Sheffield United, Bristol City, Aston Villa, Norwich and Middlesbrough make up the other half of the table. Let's have a look at that relegation zone. So as you can see, the relegation zone, a sense of familiarity with it, as you can see. Birmingham are still in that relegation zone on 36 points. Hull and Reading are also both in that relegation uh, zone, but they've managed to catch up on points in the sense that they were doing really shit, and now they're on 35 points, as is Reading, who have now moved to the bottom of the league. Yeah, it's very tight at the bottom of the league. Um, 
I mean, Wigan, who are 21st and just outside of relegation zone, are drawing with Birmingham. And the only reason they're above them is because they've, their goal difference is better. So, yeah, and with all the games we've still got left, Bolton and Rotherham could still slip into that relegation zone. So, yeah, who knows? But, anyway, without further ado, that's the league table, and let's get into our first game of the episode against Rotherham. So here we are, it's game day against Rotherham, we are away from home, we are playing a heavily rotated side. Uh, this is because we've literally got a game three days after this, and then four days after the next one, so definitely need a bit of uh, rotation in order to keep everyone fit for the next few games, but um, yeah, rotations aren't that much, it's just people like Graben, Yanko, Danny Fox, Bridcut, and Ryan Yates coming on, so it's not too big, but yeah, hopefully uh, we can come away with at least a draw, but you think three points, but I struggle against teams who I should beat, so who knows. Anyway, let's get into the game. And here we are kicking off the first half at Rotherham's ground. Highlight now for Rotherham. And wow, okay, they've scored a goal 12 minutes in, easy as you like it. Throw in to Vassal. Vassal just finds everyone. I don't know who it was that left his man, I think it was Danny Fox, but yeah, 1-0 down. Not the best of starts. Highlight now for Rotherham, and they've scored a free kick. We are 2-0 down. There has only been two highlights of this first half, and it's been both their goals. Fucking great start. And that is the first half, and as you can see, just as I predicted, we're losing to a team who are 19th, because I can't beat teams who are shit. I just can't do it. I don't understand. Like, my team just go to pot when they play against people who they should beat. But, you know, they'll beat anyone else. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm going to give them a bollock in and hope that we can turn this into a draw. And here we are starting the second half. Let's hope we can actually get a fucking goal. Highlight now. Rotherham to kick it out. Ball won back by Rotherham. Is this going to be a 3-0? Manning to Tau. Back to Manning. Ball won back by Osborne. Counter-attack is on. Osborne with a fucking awful pass to Carvalho. has just killed that entire attack. Maybe not. Oh, God. Okay, attack still going on. Osborne to Diaz. Oh, what a goal! Diaz has made it 2-1 with a... F oh, oh I, lost my, I lost my words there. What a goal. Jill Diaz with a finesse shot out the edge of the box and into the top left corner. Bang. Oh, beautiful. Anyway, 2-1. Come on. Highlight now for Forrest. Ball to be played out of the back. Ball tried to be played over the top. Couldn't work. Rotherham now have the ball back. Good tackle there. And another good tackle. Sudani has come on for Graben, by the way. Rotherham looking to make this 3-1. No one seems to be pressuring Williams. And that has led to a third goal, for fuck's sakes. We're losing this game, everyone. I'm sorry. There's no way we're winning this, because... I can't rotate my team. I just can't do it, because the people I rotate are dog shit. I mean, look. Awful save from Smith. Smith could have done a bit better there. But anyway, 3-1. Highlight now, Rotherham picking up a red card. I'm going full attack. Has Ryan Manning cost Rotherham a game, potentially? Ball goes in, but it's saved by Rodak. Ball sent over the top to Sudani, and again, misses a fucking sitter. I need a better striker next season. Carvalho to take the corner. Oh, Sudani's found it. 20 goals. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Can we make this 3-2? What an awful goal and what an awful save as well. Shout out to number 10 who has stood facing the fucking fans. Highlight now, Danny Fox to take a free kick and it just goes wide. Last kick of the game and that is probably it. And we've lost 3-2. Uh, it's fucking appalling, really. Uh, yeah, but expected because don't know what it is with this football manager, but I can't beat teams who are in the lower half of the league. Or at least I struggle to beat them because... Fuck me, I should have been winning this. Anyway, 3-2 at Rotherham's ground. Because I don't know how to pronounce it. I couldn't give a rat's ass about their ground. Ooh, you're hard. Okay, so after giving the team a bollock in and losing 3-2, I've decided to play a slightly stronger side this time. And by stronger, I mean just taking Lewis Graben out of the whole fucking situation because he's dog shit. And I can safely say now, if I can sell him next season, I'm going to sell him. I don't care how much it is. Anything is profit on Gra on Graben at this point because he's just dog shit to me. 
Just don't rate him at all. Anyway, let's not rant about Graben. Let's get into our second game of the episode against Sheffield Wednesday. Slightly stronger side. Let's hope that we can actually pick up three points. But yeah, let's go. So here we are kicking off the first half again. Can we get a win? Corner kick now for Forrest. And it is a penalty. Which will be taken by Diaz. Can he put it away? And he does with ease. Top right corner. We are 1-0 up to a penalty from Jill Diaz. Come on. Okay, so from bad to worse, we've managed to get Hethele injured, uh, which does mean Danny Fox will have to come on the pitch. Danny Fox, who had a shit game last time, so let's hope he can uh, make up for that. Yeah. Game's still being played, however. Are Wednesday going to pick something up? Getting a lot of Wednesday highlights now. Fletcher doesn't score, thank God. Corner to come. Bannon to take. Sets out wide and don't know what the fuck that was. So that was the first half, as you can see. Uh, we were 1-0 up from the penalty, but apart from that, nothing else has happened. The only thing that does worries me is there was a lot more Sheffield Wednesday highlights once Hefele came off the pitch. So, yeah, that's starting to concern me. Yeesh. Anyway, let's get into the second half and hope that we can keep this win. The second half continues with Sheffield Wednesday kicking off. Free kick now for Sheffield Wednesday. Nothing to come from it, though, at the moment. Ball back in and... Fuck sakes. Uh, it's just fucking pathetic defending. Look, they just all fuck off. <laughs> Look at them. Look at all the Forest players. They all fuck off outside. None of them pick a man and all run towards the guy with the ball. And then there we go. Forestieri scored. Great. One all. Fuck me. Throw in now for Wednesday. Can we equalise in added time? Say equalise. Get ahead. Especially, don't think so with the fucking passing that we're doing. Yep. Thanks for the highlight game. Thanks a bunch. So as you can see, it's another game that we have bottled and we have drew to Sheffield Jewen Sheffield Wednesday. Um, yeah, not really much else to say about this game other than Wednesday probably deserved more. And um, I want to punch every fucker in our team because they're just starting to bottle things now all of a sudden. And yeah, uh, at half-time, Blackburn were up 3-0 up against Derby, so I'm expecting us to be fucking 6-0 down at fucking uh, uh, to Blackburn when we play them, because fuck me, we're diabolical. Anyway, one all at Sheffield Wednesday's ground. So, here we are. It's match day three, and we are playing Blackburn at home. The team is now at full strength. I've got everyone in it who's been playing well this season. Although, I don't class Sudani as having a good season. Even though he has scored 20 goals, and that probably does sound stupid, he could have scored a lot more if his finishing was better. But anyway, without further ado, Goncalves is coming back on. Diaz is starting at right wing. Um, seeing as he's the only person that's actually been playing quite well in the past two games. So, yeah, let's hope that we can just get a draw to Blackburn and not get absolutely battered by them. Because I've just seen the league table, and... Yeah, it's not looking great for us, so we need a draw to Blackburn, definitely. Anyway, let's get into the game. And we are kicking off the first half at our home ground. Can we keep this a draw? Highlight now, Smith Road to take the... Oh, fuck. Blackburn have literally just got a bunch of fucking Premier League future stars. Lookman and fucking Emil Smith Row. What's that shit? Anyway, it's a good goal from Luckman, good touch, and a good volley, to be fair. But yeah, 1-0 down in the first minute. Fucking brilliant. Free kick now. Oh, fuck sakes. Another fucking free kick we don't score from. Highlight now for Forrest. Osborne still has the ball. Goncalves with a cross, and Sudani has won us a penalty. Jill Diaz will take it. Come on, can we level with Blackburn with a penalty? Jill Diaz scores. Come on. 1-0 in the 37th minute. Can we make this more? I would like it, but I'd rather it just stay at a draw because knowing my players, they'll end up committing too much and then we'll just concede a really easy shit goal. So yeah, that is the first half and we're actually kind of dominating them. We're just not getting the goals, which is basically what we've been this whole season. Um, eight shots, three on target. 58% um, possession, but yeah, I mean, we could, if we could just find the back of the net, we could probably take this somewhere. Anyway, let's go, come on. And here we are kicking off the second half. Free kick now for Forrest. Oh, and it lead, it's leading to a counter-attack, isn't it? Look at all those Blackburn shots. Panagiotis with a tackle, come on. Byram to Figueredo, back to Panagiotis. I couldn't figure out who that was then. Panagiotis to Osborne. Osborne looking for a ball over to Goncalves, can't find it. 
Ball has won, been won back though. Gone Calvez. Lucky to shoot. Right at Raya. Smith to Fox. In this highlight, Panagiotis to play it wide to Goncalves. Goncalves looking to send Sudani through, scores! We're 2-1 up. Sudani has gone and scored for us. Come on. Come on, we can do this. Panagiotis finding Goncalves. Goncalves flicking to the side and just playing a beautiful ball through to Sudani. What a touch and what a finish. Come on, 2-1. Highlight now for Forrest. Poor throw in from Byram. Counter-attack from Blackburn had potential, but it was cut out. Fox playing it over, or attempting to play it over. Raya kicking it up the pitch. Blackburn looking to do something, but they're too busy heading it to each other. Goncalves to Lazure. Can Lazure find someone? Cash! Oh, my God. One final highlight in the game now. I'd rather the ref just blow the whistle than give us this highlight, and he has done it. How? I don't understand us. Oh, my God. Anyway, that is full time and we've beaten Blackburn 2-1. That has done us some favours. Oh my god. I just don't understand us. I would have took the six points from Rotherham and Sheffield over this game. Because, I mean, this does feel like six points in a sense. But, oh, we just, we outplay the good teams. And then we just play shit against the bad, t against the, well, sorry, not bad teams. The team's out of form. It just... I don't understand it. It's every save I've done, I've been like this. It's got to be something I'm doing. Anyway, yeah, a win. <sighs> Thought we were going to go this whole episode without a win then. Anyway, yeah, brilliant. Uh, Hello, Sudani, saving us there. And Jill Diaz also uh, saving us. But yeah, Ben Brereton, who we signed for, who we sold to him, did shit. So that's another bonus. Fuck you, Ben Brereton. And yeah, the, uh, the other thing, right? What the fuck is it? This is unrealistic. Emil Smith Rowe and Adamola Luckman playing for Blackburn. <laughs> okay, football manager. Okay. So here we are, and what I have decided is going to be the penultimate game of the episode, which means we will be playing Middlesbrough as the final game of this episode. Yeah, we are playing Sheffield United, who are currently between 7th and 10th. I haven't checked the league prior to this, so we don't actually know where they are. But yeah, same team as last time, only Bridcut will be playing defensive mid because uh, Tashtidis is knackered. Um, yeah, let's get into the game. Can't really think of much else to say. Just need three points. Really badly need three points. We are now third, so hopefully we can close the gap on Blackburn once again. But who knows? Anyway, let's get into that game. And here we are kicking off the first half. Can we get a goal in this first half? Highlight now for Forrest. Figueredo to Bridcut. To Fox. Fox playing it out wide to Diaz. Diaz finds Sudani and it's his 22nd goal of the season. I do take back what I said about Sudani. He has had a pretty good season for us. It's just I feel like he could have done a lot better. I definitely do need to find another striker next season. Uh, one that can fill Graben's place. But yeah, what a goal. Good pass from Diaz into a good finish from Sudani. 1-0. Come on. Lazure throwing to Osborne. Cash. Switching it wide to Diaz. Diaz running in through the middle. Plays through Sudani, who nearly scores again. Corner to come. Highlight now for Sheffield United. Free kick being played around. And fucking Billy Sharp again. I'm pretty sure he scored past us last time. But there's no fucking stopping him. Honestly, he just scores. I mean, i got mad respect for the lad. But fuck me. Really? Every fucking time I play you on any save? Anyway, one all. Fuck sakes. Forgot to talk about the stuff that happened in the second half, but yeah, here we go, second half. Highlight now, Forrest, throw in. Gone Calvis to Bridcut. Bridcut looking to play it over to Sudani. Ball back in Sheffield United possession. Sheffield United working it around fast. Okay, sorry, uh, I was panicking about the Smith thing. Uh, cash. Cash to give it to Lazio. Lazio finding Sudani is fucking offside. Oh, fucking do one Sudani and do one linesman. Oh, I don't need to see a replay of that. Forrest to have the ball from this highlight. Osborne playing it through to Sudani. Didn't play through the guy running in through the middle. Don't know why. Byram Sudani! 23rd goal of the season. Come on, Sudani. He's doing well at the, at the final stages of this season. Sudani could have played through Matey. He was literally running through in the middle, but... Bridcut gets it anyway, gives it to Byram. 
Byram, find Sudani, and it's just slotted nicely. Henderson probably going to do a lot better. And what the fuck happened to the goal net? Anyway, 2-1. Come on. Corner now for Sheffield United. Get rid of it. Go. Fuck me. Nearly conceded. Come on. Just blow the whistle. Just blow the whistle. Just blow the whistle. Ball being passed around by Sheffield United. Oh, God. They got a fucking free kick. Just blow the whistle, ref. Blow the whistle, ref. Fuck me. Sorry, I did not commentate on that because I thought we were going to get absolutely bullied again by the ref not fucking calling it. Anyway. Yes. So, as you can uh, tell, I'm quite excited because we nearly got shafted at the end of that, but we won 2-1, making our tally for today a loss, a draw, and two wins. So, yeah, I'm quite happy. Um, Sudani saving us again. Um, Sudani and Jill Diaz have been having a good season so far. Billy Sharp, got to say, fair play, good goal and all that. Um, Sheffield United, fair play. They, did, they didn't do too bad. They didn't do as... as well as us, obviously, but we didn't do much better. I mean, same amount of shots, only a few more on target than them. Had a lot of possession, which I think made up for it. But yeah, 2-1. Lovely. Great way to go into our final game of the episode, which we will go to now. Good news, everyone. We have secured a playoff spot, so we cannot drop out the playoffs now. Thank God. And yeah... There's also some other good news on the horizon, but before we get into that, we best give you the other big bit of news. Yes, it comes as no surprise, Leeds have won the Skybet Championship title. Their pivotal match was apparently beating us 4-2. I remember that game, I swear we went, they went 2-0 uh, up, and then it was 2 all, and then it was 4-2. But, um, yeah, fair play to them, they've been brilliant all season. Um, will they probably stay up in the Premier League next season? Probably not. Um, it's not an easy task, but yeah, congrats to uh, Leeds and congrats to all of Bielsa's spies on getting him all of that lovely information to win the league because, you know, that's obviously how he's won it, 100%. Definitely not just salty, <coughs> Lampard. So before I get into our next game, I have just wanted to uh, make something aware to everyone. We are currently second. Yeah. Don't know where that's come from. Anyway, we are sat on second with the same amount of points as Blackburn, 78. However, we are smashing them in the goal difference by a whole 10 goals. So there's no way they're beating us by goal difference at the end of this season. We just cannot drop games. We cannot drop games. Not at all. Not in the slightest. But anyway, yeah, second. Come on, we can do this, I believe. Maybe a, maybe a, uh, a team talk's in order. Fuck it, let's do a team talk. I'll do the team talk. I'll see you guys at the next game. There we go. See you in a second. So here we are on the final game of the episode. Just to let you know that team talk went excellently and everyone is on very high morale. So hopefully that will help us going into this next game and hopefully we'll be able to keep ourselves further away from third and getting ourselves automatic promotion. Come on. Anyway, let's get into the game and let's hope that Carvalho, who you might have noticed is at right wing, can do something there, because I'm trying to train him to go there for reasons of versatility. Anyway, let's get into the game. And here we are, Forrest to kick off the first half, looking to extend their lead from third. Highlight again for Middlesbrough, maybe? It's looking like a Middlesbrough highlight. We're not exactly pressing Nego or anyone on the left-hand side. Ball tried to be played over the top, Lazio picks it up, Bridcut. Bridge up to Cash. Cash finding Goncalves. has gone Calves trying to send over Sudani. Can't quite do it. Ball still picked up. Plays through Carvalho and he misses just by an inch. Highlight again. Forrest for a throw in. Figueredo to Byron. Byron to Bridcut. Bridcut to Osborne. Osborne to Cash. Cash to Carvalho. Carvalho with an awful cross. Middlesbrough now have the ball. Looking to counter attack. Forrest players desperately trying to win the ball back. Nego picks it up. Crosses it in, and awful save from Smith. Awful defending, and Tavernier has scored. Brilliant. Anyway, 1-0 down. And here we are going into the second half, looking to do much better. Highlight starting with Forrest. Cash to Osborne. Osborne back to Cash. Cash, Osborne. Osborne playing a ball through. Goncalves finds Sudani. Sudani can't find the back of the net. Free kick now for Middlesbrough. 
I can't be asked. I just, I just can't be asked anymore. Why can't we beat fucking teams who are shit? Why? Why can we beat the fucking teams who are good and should give us a challenge but lose to the teams who are like fucking below 10? Fox to Figueredo to Bridcut to Goncalves. Can we get a fucking goal? Nope, this is probably going to be theirs. Byram to Smith. <laughs> Had to happen eventually, oh, didn't it? After seeing it happen to everyone else, Bass. The uh, shitty match engine has faces, struck again, and we are now 3 0 down. Brilliant. Potential highlight for Forrest. Pantelamon has come on because I'm sick and tired of Jordan Smith just being a shit keeper. Oh. <laughs> saying when someone talks too no soon yeah just happened no expression had my head i want to drown my sorrow no tomorrow no tomorrow and i find it kind of funny i find it oh we scored and it would be grabbing to score in a game that we're losing thanks grabbing Thanks a lot. I find it hard to tell Fucking you. Twat. I find it hard to take. When people run in circles, it's a very, very mad. Mad. And that is full time at the city ground. And <laughs> oh, we've been absolutely fucking shat on. So, yeah, that's full time. Fair play to Middlesbrough. Probably deserved it. Um, don't know what I can say about the team, really. They've obviously all played dog shit, apart from, believe it or not, Lewis Graben. That's that's where they should be kicking themselves in their head. If Sudani was still on the pitch, it wouldn't be as bad. It's the fact that Graben outperformed all of them. They really need to, like, let that sink in. But, yeah... Tony Davis didn't see uh, Borough winning this wrong. I did. I did, because I can't beat anyone below the below 10th. It's my curse. Anyway, what a way to end the episode. <laughs> Fuck's sakes. So, yeah, that is the end of the episode. And as you can see, we have had a pretty shit start and midway finish to this month. Um, started off with a loss to Rotherham, then got a draw to Sheffield Wednesday, got a win against Blackburn, you know, the team I didn't expect to be winning this month, and then got a win against uh, Sheffield, which again, a team I thought we'd struggle against, and then uh, we rounded it all off by getting absolutely dicked by uh, Middlesbrough 4-1, so yeah, obviously not one of the best games for us, but nonetheless, we are still second, Blackburn do have a game in hand to Bolton, and they're not cursed like me. So they will probably win that and take the second spot from us, which is a shame and all, but, you know, that's the way it's meant to be, I suppose. But, yeah, um, that's basically it for this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you have, do please leave a like. Uh, comment uh, any thoughts about the episodes or the series, if there's stuff you want me to change or if there's stuff that you liked and enjoyed, uh, do let me know. And the other thing is, guys... Let me know what you want me to do with this series once the first season's done. Because I do have another Football Manager series in the works. And yeah, I really want to do it. But I don't, I'm not sure about having two Football Manager career modes on my channel. If people are okay with that, then I'll do it. Uh, the videos will be uh, hopefully a bit more frequent then. Um, but... Yeah, that's basically it. Um, like I said, leave a like, comment. Um, again, if there is any problems, do let me know because these videos are made to be entertainment for you. And if you're not entertained, then we have a problem and I need to correct those problems. But um, yeah, I've had good feedback on the past few episodes. I had a couple of comments, people saying they've been liking the series and I appreciate that. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. So until next time, um, have a good week because <laughs> I do basically upload these once a week now. Um, and yeah, come back for the next episode where we will find out 
probably if we're going to be going into the Premier League or if we'll be spending another season in the Championship. And if we are spending another season in the Championship, I'm going to kill myself. Anyway, see you next time.